Hey Broncos, I'm Wayne Baum with Career and Student Employment Services at Western Michigan University. Today, I'm going to give you the top five tips for building and maintaining a strong network of personal and professional connections. Tip number one, get started with LinkedIn. Social media is a great place to connect with people and LinkedIn is designed specifically for professional networking and job searching. Cut and paste information from your resume into your LinkedIn profile so they match up. Be sure to upload a picture as profiles with photos are 40% more likely to be clicked on and viewed. Connect with other WMU alumni at companies and organizations where you might like to work. Post your thoughts, links to interesting articles, and other information related to your profession or industry. And remember to use relevant hashtags so they are searchable. Tip number two, participate in virtual conferences. During COVID, most conferences, workshops, and professional development opportunities have, are happening in virtual spaces. These are still excellent opportunities for, to meet people and expand your network. If the speaker or presenter has indicated that they are open to it, message them privately in the chat or jot down their email address to reach out to them after the event. Tip number three, be personable. Most of the time, we practice our 30 second commercial or elevator pitch so many times that it comes across as robotic or rehearsed. While the general details of your 30 second commercial are important in introducing yourself to a new contact, make sure you are personal and the conversation is fun, light, and informal. Making a personal connection is much more important than selling yourself or your ex experiences. Be sure you're authentic and genuine. Tip number four, networking is a two-way street. While you might have selfish or self-serving interests in connecting with people, like finding a new job or selling a product, remember that networking is a two-way street. You have just as much to offer your new connection as they have to offer you. Just like any other relationship, you want to balance the give and take of sharing advice and asking for help. Tip number five, maintenance is important. It's one thing to build a network. It's another thing to maintain it. Be sure to keep in regular contact with folks in your network. It can be as simple as a quarterly check-in email or as elaborate as a weekly standing coffee meeting. Each person in your network will require different levels of regularity of contact. So be sure to tailor your strategy to each individual. The most important thing is to maintain these relationships. Now that you've got these tips down, let's check in with a Western alum to get their advice on building and maintaining your professional network. Hey Broncos, I'm Jackie Volkman Wenger, a proud two-time alum of Western Michigan University. I'm here today to talk to you about some practical networking tips from my own personal experience to help you cultivate genuine relationships for professional success. So let's dive into tip number one. It is not a numbers game. Networking is not about how many business cards you can collect or how many people you can speak to at the networking events. By definition, it's the gradual process of making connections and cultivating those relationships. In order to do that, you have to get beyond the small talk. And I want you to remember that one quality conversation is better than 20 superficial ones. So how do you do that? Well, that brings us to tip number two, let curiosity be your guide. I want you to be genuinely curious about those you wish to connect with. Many people think networking is the opportunity to sell themselves when in reality, the opposite is more true. You will find greater success at growing your network when your focus is more on them than it is on you. Ask them questions, get beyond talking about the weather or just asking them what they do. I want you to get a little more personal. I guarantee for the majority of people you speak with, you will be able to find at least something in common and that will guide your conversation down a much easier path and surely leave a lasting impression. Tip number three, embrace the introvert in you. Yes, you heard me correctly. A lot of people think you have to be an extrovert to be a good networker, when in reality, studies have told us that introverts are the ones who tend to make better connections. That is because they usually are the ones who are better listeners and are more inquisitive. So when you're networking, I want you to be actively listening to everything everyone is saying. 
you need to tuck this valuable information in your back pocket for future use. Now you may be asking when you might use this information, and that brings us to tip number four, keep the connection warm. It is essential to stay in touch with your connections beyond just when you need something from them. Now, if you remember things that they've told you, it makes it that much easier to reconnect with them and it's not gonna feel like a cold call or an awkward email. Don't sell yourself short. We all have something to offer. And I like to encourage you to use what I like to call the unprompted favor. If you remember something that they like or they need and you can make it happen for them, don't hesitate to sporadically reach out and make the offer. The goal here is that you want them to remember who you are. Last but not least, tip number five, do your homework and make a game plan. Networking oftentimes triggers social anxiety for people. And if this sounds like you, then this two for one tip will certainly help you out. Do your research and know who in your desired field it would be great to connect with. If it's for a specific event, figure out ahead of time who else is going to be attending and pick just a few people you'd love to connect with. Start small and remember, one quality conversation is better than 20 superficial ones. Make a game plan. Have a few go-to questions, know who you wanna speak with and give yourself a time limit. If you are anxious about networking, sometimes knowing that you're only going for an hour can help you take that first step. I hope some of my personal tips help you become an authentic and genuine networker and successfully grow those impactful relationships. In the words of my former boss, it's always a great day to be a Bronco.